Hello everyone, today we're going to be going over settings on Battlefield 2042. I've gone through all the settings, I've changed them to just how I like them, and I've also taken some tips from Dragonov. He sent me a DM the other day because I was struggling with my aim with ARs. It just did not feel right at all. I was complaining about it on the stream, but I changed these settings and it improved it dramatically okay so i'm hoping these settings will also help you if your aim doesn't feel quite right um obviously it was a bit me as well uh, but it did definitely improve the aim for you so we're going to go through all of them today in today's video um it is a pc settings video so i am playing on pc i believe some console settings will be the same though so it should be able to transfer over to that uh, i do go over the controller settings as well as a mouse and keyboard settings so it might be worth a watch if you play console as well but either way if this video does help you today please make sure to hit like and share to support it it'll help get its reach out there and other people to come and find it and hit subscribe if you want more content tomorrow's video is another battlefield video on the channel and we're going to be covering an assault rifle loadout i got some gameplay at the weekend coming on saturday and sunday as well and i'm going to continue making battlefield videos along with my normal division content as well so i'm very excited to do that hit subscribe if you want to watch it and that's the intro done we're going to get straight into this now i'm going to remove my webcam and we're going to go over these settings so heading into accessibility um basically the options we're going to switch to general here and uh, there's nothing much that i changed on here so i kept everything the same even the camera shake amount i was thinking about reducing that uh cross play it's up to you if you want it on or off if you have it off you'll only play if people on your platform and you have it on it will cross play now if you're on pc you only cross play against ps5 and xbox series x and s you do not cross play against ps4 or xbox one because the map sizes as in like the player counts on each map are different so they're on different servers uh, so switch that on or off there if you're having issues with connection um like i did at the weekend i actually turned crossplay off and it really improved it just a hint there uh, nothing else was changed on general though and that was left the same moving over to display which is kind of like a pc only one here you will have you will have some of these settings on your console though um just just play whatever settings you want really you know whatever your refresh rate is or whatnot but field the view you definitely want to turn this up if your system can handle it it maxes out at 105 but i just put it on 90 as a rough starter and the vehicle maxes out at 88 i just left it at 70 as a starter it felt good i didn't see the need to change it uh, but you're definitely gonna want to up that because they put them very low to begin with the ads field of view I think this is just when you're aiming down the sights, I, I leave that off. I haven't actually tested what that does if you put it on, but I imagine it just, um, yeah, it, it, it basically goes a little bit slower when you're aiming, I think, whereas if you turn that on, the field of view is going to be more, so feel much more quicker and you're going to see more or whatnot. The, graphing, the graphic settings, rather, I haven't touched any of that apart from motion blur. Motion blur on a game, I always believe, isn't needed, so drop that down to zero. Uh, it is up to you, but I don't have it. I put it on zero. I find it much better to play shooters with no motion blur. And I didn't touch anything else there. The graphic preset put everything on the highest setting for me, pretty much. Now, if you are playing PvP games on PC, it's highly advised you don't do that because the highest settings, depending on your machine, you're going to be loading in more textures, more shadows, or whatever it is that it is processing. Now, if you're playing against someone and they're not loading in as much as you, you then there's going to be a slight difference in what you're both seeing and quite often they may see you before you see them which is why you're dying so drop your settings i've actually dropped stuff to medium you probably should go low but again when i was playing it i had no problems i was enjoying it uh so, so i left it here but adjust this if you find i don't know you're getting shot a lot from behind walls stuff like that you see people online saying oh he's cheating i was behind a wall or whatever or the bullets were penetrating through the wall sometimes it's to do with this it's the fact that they actually saw you before you went behind the wall you know um so, so stuff like that uh texture quality definitely dropped to medium i did texture filtering down to medium i kept lighting at high the effects quality i dropped down to medium uh mesh quality terrain quality undergrowth quality I dropped down to medium so that's what i did i didn't touch anything else there the dynamic resolution scale i didn't touch um i didn't touch anything else at all in those settings 
Moving over to HUD General, you can switch some stuff around here if you want to. I didn't do anything there. The crosshair you can do as well, and the mini map you can do as well. But again, I didn't do any of them and left all of them at default. Going to sound, I also left all of this at default as well. I didn't touch any of that. On controller, I did change a few things, even though I'm not using a controller, just in case I ever do. Uh, but we're going to start with mouse and keyboard first, which is what I am using. So on this first global setting, I did nothing. On my on foot settings, I did change things around. Now, the soldier mouse aim sensitivity was at default 20. I tried going lower. It didn't work out for me, so I actually upped it a little bit. I'm currently on 23. But I'll keep playing with this sensitivity until I know it's at the perfect place. 23 feels very good, though. I didn't touch the next setting. Uh, you see the field of view again. Um, that, that was changing the other setting. ADS field of view is still off here. They're taking from the other setting. And then um, nothing else here I touched until we get down to advanced. So when we get to advanced, I did change things here that really did help my aim. So this is a shout out to Dragonov again who advised me to do this. Now, um, I'm, I'm, I forget if I change this, but the vertical mouse aim ratio is 100 uh, the uniform soldier aiming is what I change, and the coefficient as well. Now, this coefficient was set as 100, and this uniform soldier aiming was turned to off. What I was advised to do was turn this on and drop the coefficient to zero. It says what it does there. I'm not 100% still with myself what it does, but since I changed this and kept all my other sensitivities here at default 100 my aiming with an ar was much much better i was struggling with aiming my ar at a bit of range uh medium range should be fine with assault rifles but i was really struggling even when i set my attachments up to for range on the assault rifle it, it didn't really help at all but once i came into here and i changed the coefficient down to zero and the uniform soldier aiming on it really did make an effect i could tell right away i was killing players quicker uh, i could kill at medium range quite easily the gun was a lot more stable um without changing any mods so definitely try that remember what settings you have first just in case you don't like it but that is something that i changed there on vehicles i kept everything the same but i did turn the sensitive sensitivity up uh the the dial i messed with uh, because i was having a lot of trouble was the pilot so the aircraft control sensitivity i forgot what the default was now but i maxed that out all the way to 100 to try and improve flying i still have not got in a uh, in a vehicle to pilot since doing this i'm just letting you know this is something i changed and you're gonna want to play with this to find the perfect setting for you and vehicles i've just maxed it out right now i might lower it if it's too much or whatnot but that is all that i changed there now, on controller, um, I did nothing to the controller schemes. But if we go to global, I did nothing there. And if we go to on foot, I did change these to match my keyboard and mouse. So the soldier aim sensitivity up to 23. Everything else was the same. And when we, came, when we come down to advanced, I did change that coefficient to zero and put uniform soldier aiming on and left all those defaults at 100. So that's what I did on the controller settings as well. So if you are struggling with controller and you think the aim is a little bit off, you can change these settings here, and I hope that they do help you. There are some accessibility options as well. Uh, I didn't touch any of these on general, but they're there if you need them. Have a, have a look at these and see if there's anything that's going to improve your game experience for you. You can change subtitles there, and uh, there's controls as well. One thing I think I forgot to mention on mouse and keyboard was I did make sure shoulders... Uh, sorry, soldier sprint was set to toggle over hold and that does take us to the key bindings very quickly i did change a few things here that uh, if people are wondering what my key bindings are that they are practically default but if we move to on foot i did change a few things so i'm going to show you what that is now and uh, the first thing i did was i removed crouch Hold. Now, this was to left control and crouch toggle was C. Now, I much prefer just having crouch as, as a toggle anyway. I don't need to differentiate bef between toggle and uh, hold because it's very easy to come out of a, a crouch anyway. You can just start sprinting or whatever. So I, re I, I removed it from hold and what I did, I put left control on crouch toggle. Another thing that I did, I was, uh, I'm new, I say I'm new to keyboard and mouse. I'm only just really getting into keyboard and mouse in the last year. Uh, always kind of 
play keyboard and a mouse where I could, but never been really good at it. So one thing I was struggling with for some reason was hitting Z. It was a little bit annoying and I found it better to put it on my mouse. So if you do have a mouse with some buttons, um, I got four buttons that I can allocate. I put it on my mouse button three, which means going prone is very, very easy when I'm in combat. And then the last few things that I changed, I was for whatever reason, struggling to press one, two and three, four. So one is primary, two secondary, three and four are gadgets. Uh, three and four I was finding harder than one and two. Now, two of my buttons on my mouse, I couldn't actually allocate because they were my DPI buttons, but I went into my mouse settings and I set one of them to three, one of them to four to cover them. And then the final thing that I changed here is I also put ping on my mouse, on mouse button four. Uh, and everything else though is exactly as it was when I turned the game on. And then finally, there's an extras menu menu if you need it with a QR code where you can search Battlefield 2042 on EA Help. And that is it for this video. I always like doing these settings videos because sometimes they do quite well. You, some of you uh, guys want to search settings videos and see what people have their settings at. Uh, that change that I made to help increase my accuracy with the assault rifle really did help as well i can't stress that enough thank you dragon for sharing that with me it, it got so much better since i changed that setting so thank you try that out for yourselves i do know a lot of people were complaining about ars and how inaccurate they were so for me it helped i hope it does for you uh but that's it thank you for watching tomorrow the video we got is we've got an assault rifle loadout for you i've pretty much maxed out the uh the m5 whatever numbers it is i'm no good with weapons but the first assault rifle that you use is pretty much maxed out now so i got a loadout that i like using with that and some tips on what to use around that so that is tomorrow's video we've got some gameplay footage on saturday and sunday of a lot of good assault rifle kills and sniper kills as well excited for all them to come hit like and share on this video if you did enjoy it subscribe if you want to watch our future content and until the next video thank you for watching this one stay safe and peace out